Hi, I'm Christina Troutwine, VP of Content and Partnerships at Hotel Business. We're here today with Rockbridge at their RTRX event, and we're so pleased and honored to have a roundtable series with them. The topic is positive vision, creating action with optimism. Let's hear from some of our participants. So how I try to show leadership in our company uh, at Rockbridge, uh, through my own example is one, you have to start by being willing to do uh, any job that you ask anybody else to do. I think it's important for your team members to see that we're prepared to do any job or take any task or seek any challenge uh, that you'd ask them to do. And so that might mean staying there late to work on a project with them. It might mean doing a difficult task. It might mean uh, being bold or taking a challenge where uh, they might uh, be concerned about that. And so I think from my perspective, uh, you know, showing people the way, uh, but also walking the path of them is incredibly important. And I think that what that does is that brings a ton of credibility to you as a leader uh, and an authenticity. Uh, and once you have that and you have that, that understanding and that trust of the team, then you can do a lot with that and help motivate them uh, to do the same. So I think when you're trying to show leadership inside of the, your company, a lot of it comes back to the basics. And, you know, for me, I think that's consistency. My team knows what they're going to get, whether, you know, what kind of day you're having or what situations going on internally. They know what they're going to receive. They know that I try to come in with a consistent demeanor, that I'm going to support them, that we can work through these different um, areas together. And so I think by showing up with that consistency, it gives them a confidence in what they can expect and what they are going to experience from day to day. Even though surroundings uh, change constantly around us, we're able to remain consistent and work together um, in that way. So many different levels of leadership within an organization, especially in a service organization. You have a salaried management team, you have an hourly staff that actually do the jobs. And it's important for you as a leader to embrace you know, all the different populations. One of my favorite things to do is be Santa Claus at our annual holiday parties. And seeing the staff and their kids and everybody dress up, take pride, ownership, and have fun and seeing kids grow within our organization, within their families for 15 years, kids going off to college now, that's, that's rewarding as a leader for people to buy into you and your organization and stick with you. I show leadership within my company two ways. One is uh, I try to participate as much as I can in some of the sausage making, some of the day-to-day -day activities, because I think it's important that the people you're leading know that you understand what they have to do. Um, and B, I think it's also important that you do that so that you can share your knowledge and your experience. Some of the best leaders I've worked with do that, and I've been able to absorb that, uh, that experience and then take it out into the field. The other thing that I think I try to do uh, on a day-to-day -day basis is just inspire the fact that you have to have courage to, to expand your capabilities. Nothing that I do in my professional life that I actually go to school for. I went to school for communications, which I think was a great foundation, but whatever aspect of hospitality I've worked in, whether it was in operations or now in design and construction, I've learned it all the hard way. And I think that that's often the best way to learn things. You can't learn most of what I do in a classroom. You have to learn it from people directly and you have to have the courage to ask a lot of questions. My definition of leadership is making the most uncomfortable person in the room comfortable. I mean, that is the definition of my mind of leadership. When you do that, when you create that comfort, people are more dynamic, they're more, they're more trustworthy. They trust you, you trust them, they're more creative, they're more dynamic, they collaborate better. So how do you, everybody in the room has to contribute, but everyone has to feel comfortable 
really um, diversity in my mind is really about productivity. It's about comfort. It's about making people feel valued and trusted and know that you have their interests at hand. When you inspire people to be better and hold them accountable, you, it's both accountability and, and inspiration, You, um, they get better. And so making them comfortable is the first step and every day, every step after that to making sure that you're getting the maximum potential out of them, right? People feel valued, they can perform. And you, we've, we've seen that with sports teams, right? You get million dollar payroll on one team and they lose and you get a bunch of young kids who have nothing to lose with low payroll and they win. And it's, it's, it's just about human behavior and, um, and keeping people inspired. And I think leadership's all about making people comfortable, putting yourself second. And when you do that, people see that. It's, it's authentic leadership. I show leadership again with communication. Communication for me is the key role. It's about, leadership is about the soft skills too. It's about how you interact with your team. It's conveying that you're, you've got that human touch. They need to know that you're able to have their back. You're able to be able to communicate the feedback. Sometimes it's tough fe feedback, but that's appreciated based on how you convey the message. I think leaders need to walk the talk. It shows credibility. It shows, again, how you have to show that you are willing to give a piece of yourself to inspire the team. You know, I, I think it's important to show leadership every day and being able to show from a personal perspective the fact that we're human beings and that not everything is easy. I, I think there's too many times that leaders expect that the, or the leaders think that the expectation is to be perfect, not to be human. And our ability to talk about where we failed, what we've learned, and, and literally where we're headed, I think is so important to do every day. We do it often. And I, I joke that I will be the first one to tell you that we did something and missed. I'm only disappointed if we didn't try. Uh, but I also wanna know what we've learned from those experiences. And I think it's very important to be personal. Uh, sometimes we don't talk enough about our, and, and I don't like the word vulnerable, but literally being human. And I think the one common in this world is that our human connection is what makes us unique, but also makes us so similar. Well, how I try to show lead leadership within my company is first and foremost, celebrate the victories. Uh, the wins are very are very important. We certainly believe in the scoreboard and we monitor our goals on a weekly, monthly, and quarterly basis. And probably just as importantly is take responsibility for the losses. And that starts with me. Own your losses, own the mistakes, learn from them, coach the folks, coach up, mentor, but most importantly, take responsibility. Before I started my company, I had never had many employees, and now I have 50. And the way that I like to demonstrate leadership is through one of our culture statements, which is no hierarchy, no ego, great ideas come from everybody. And that leadership statement is manifested in open doors, encouraging young people to speak up and sitting side by side with them and helping them realize that they have great answers and they have better answers than I do and, and being open-minded to listening and actioning them. <laughs>